day eight of athletics and there were 12 gold medals on offer at the Olympic Stadium. We start with the women's 5,000 meters T53-54. Titania McFadden of the United States already had two gold medals here in Rio. With more than a lap to go, she was looking good for a third. Stamina sapping stuff here. And then Di Rosario on the inside of McRory. And then the two Chinese. But McFadden has gone to the front narrowly. But Shire is giving her a terrific race on the inside. She's being extremely courageous. And on the outside is McClammer moving up down to silver medal contention with a lap to go. Look at this at the ball. It's McFadden leading them out. McClammer behind. McGrory going two on the outside. And Shire looks. Spent. She's in fourth place. The Rosario's trying to go with them in fourth. No, it's the Rosario up in fourth place. USA, one, two, three. That's what the rest of the field up fed it's McFadden leading it's McClummer in second place McGrory third De Rosario staying up with them in fourth place and Char in fifth this is where the goal is going to be decided in the next 200 De Rosario is the only one who looks like he can deny a clean sweep and she's trying to do it on the outside it's Chichana McFadden leading them out now they're spreading out and it's McFadden in the lead in second place it's McClummer it's McGrory in third De Rosario on the outside can she pull it off it's McFadden, McClummer, McGrory. It's the Mark Hupchuk again. Tatiana McFadden leads home the American 1 2 3. In the men's javelin F 34, Colombia's Mauricio Valencia took gold. His throw of 36 65 sealed top spots, and after winning, he consoled his teammate, Diego Fernando Menezes Medina, who'd finished outside the medal positions. In the women's discus F40, F41, Tunisia's Rawa Tilili won gold with her throw of 33-38. And there was another gold medal for China. Wang Jun won the women's shot put F35 final, her throw of 13-91, a new world record. There was a top-class field in the women's 200 metres, T43, T44. T43 world record holder Marlou van Rijn of the Netherlands was in lane five. Away first time, and Lafer has got a much better start than van Rijn, but van Rijn improved very quickly in the semi-final. Van Susen going brilliantly for Germany as well. Now they straighten up. Van Susen with a slight advantage for Germany. Van Rijn in second place, Lafer in third. She's putting the foot down, Marley Van Rijn. She's on the way. She's going to win the gold again at the Paralympic Games. It's Marley Van Rijn who wins it. It's 26-17. It's a new Paralympic record. Another great triumph for this magnificent athlete. Dutch gold again. Hu Jian Wen won the men's long jump T38. His first jump of 664, a new Paralympic record, and enough for the gold medal. In the men's 200 metres T11, there were two Brazilians to keep the home crowd entertained, Felipe Gomes and Daniel Silva. Away they go, Gomes away very well, chasing Silva down already, Chicongo out quickly, Fan on the inside with work to do. So on the point of the corner, Gomez takes Silva, who needs to find Chicongo's a danger on the inside. Gomez in front, Chicongo wearing him down. Gomez just in front, Chicongo's got him. Chicongo drives through, Chicongo won it. From Gomez in second, Silva third. He has won a mighty race. Paralympic record of 22-44. And in the men's 100 metres T12, the well-fancied Cuban, Lania Savon Pineda, went sub-11 seconds in qualifying. They're away, in two to away, Savon Pineda fantastically getting into a stride now for Cuba, he's out in front, it's going to be Savon Pineda to win this, and Tutu coming up in the second place. Savon Pineda takes it, 10.97. Savon Pineda gets the gold for Cuba. In the men's 100 metres, T42, German world record holder Heinrich Popov was in lane seven. But Brit Richard Whitehead was one of many challenges to him for the gold medal. 
Set to go and away. Reared and out better tonight. On the outside, Yoda Pettigee's giving him a race in the early stages. Wagner's coming through. Reared and drives away. And it's redemption for Reardon in the 100. He just holds Whitehead and Wagner. He's done it. And after a real drought for Australia on the track, that's their second gold in track and field, their first on the track here in Rio. In the men's 800 metres, T52, T53, Francis Pierre Fairbank was leading as they approached the bend, but could he hang on? Clio going on the outside, Lagana stuck in the inside. Right behind Fairbank of France. As they hit the bend, the former European and world champion, Pierre Fairbank, is going to have to fend them off from all sides. He might just do it. Payo's coming on the outside, and he's going to take it. Payo bombs the tournament of Thailand. That's the 400-800 double for Thailand. Next up was the women's 4x400 metres, T53, T54. It included Australia, USA, China and Turkey. And by the final leg, China were out in front. China are off and gone. 250 metres to go. They have a margin of 60 or 70 metres. Tatiana McFadden for the USA in second, trying so hard. Australia in third place. Christy Dawes is the anchor leg for Australia. It's China, USA, Australia, and then Turkey have just changed. So they've still got about 350 metres to go. But it's the combination of Li, Liu, Zhu, and Zhu Li Hong. Now, Let's look at the time. The world record's going to get smashed. Absolutely smashed. 3.40.66 was the previous one. And we finish with another relay. The women's 4x100 metres, T35, T38. Team GB had strong sprinters in this one, including Kadena Cox, who was aiming to add to her two individual gold medals, one in athletics and one in cycling. And away they go in the four by one and party away well for Australia. Cox for Great Britain catching up on the Australian on her outside. Jiang was fourth in the 400 meters. Starting off for China. All the changeovers seem to be fine. China going well. It's Chen Yun Fai. Silver in the four, fourth in the one. Gold in the long jump leading the way. Great Britain trying to catch up. Australia likewise. Here goes Georgie Hermitage. Gold on the one and the four for Great Britain. It's Lee for China. Elkington Jones for Australia. Here's the final changeover. Win for China. It's Sophie Hahn for Great Britain. Sophie Hahn taking them away, but it's China leading. Great Britain in second place. The rest nowhere. China are going to win this, but how fast will they do it? It's a world record. 50 81 for China. Great Britain in second place. Australia get the bronze. 50 81. Breaks the world record by almost a second, and it's Wen Xiao Yan, the long jump champion, with the anchor leg.